Hello friends, welcome back and I am excited today to finally explain this picture which I have been using for so long for the univariate calculus, right? And this is when we get to explain the gradient descent through this picture. Okay, so we have calculated the sum of squared error dependency on M and the sum of squared error dependency on B that means dependency on the slope and the intercept okay and we got this two expression so the first question that we were asking was uh, do I reduce M and B or do I increase M or B then what I got is you know this negative symbols here tells me that you know we have to reduce okay that is fine we understood okay we have to reduce now the next question come is how much should we reduce right by what amount should we reduce this only tells me the direction okay and the amount of you know the change in the output it doesn't tell me how much should I reduce right so then comes the picture here just imagine this is the uh, you know gradient we are going to follow okay so that means my error is somewhere here at the very bottom and my main intention is to reach here so this is currently I'm here for example and I want to come all the way to the bottom okay so the first thing that I do is I come down a little bit okay I come down a little bit little further and then I calculate whether I'm in the right direction or not and that is when these gradients help me decide I come down further and say my gradient symbols flipped okay so what I do I move back up somewhere okay and then again depending on the direction I continue coming down or going up because eventually my main intention is to come to the very bottom where the error will be minimum okay now the question comes is how much step should I take so if I have to jump from a hill on the top of a hill and come all the way to the bottom I cannot simply jump straight away from there to bottom right because I have to continuously monitor whether I'm jumping on the right direction or not so that means I have to take certain steps okay and the steps I can say I can take a small step or I can take a very large steps right and these steps are basically called as learning rate okay usually denoted by the alphabet eta right you must have seen this and there are different consequences of taking different values of the learning rate if you take too small that means it is going to take a long long time to come down right and if you take a larger values you might actually miss coming to the bottom and you might jump somewhere else and then keep going out of that so we'll discuss those issues later but for the time being just understand that the gradients gives me the direction where which way should I go learning rate tells me what should be my step in order to go down okay so typically we start with a small value of learning rate say around 0 0.001 or sometimes 0 0.01 that we will again see later okay so for the time being then how my new values of M and B would look like and they would look like something like this so M the new value of M is nothing but the old value of M minus the learning rate times the change of sum of squared error because of M okay similarly what is the new value of B new value of B says that whatever is your old value of B because the direction says that we have to reduce so that is why we are subtracting and we are subtracting by this amount learning rate times uh, basically the step I want to reduce and sum of squared error different uh, derivative of sum of squared error with respect to B so these are the two new values of M and B that we are going to use so let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet and recalculate all these values so we know that M old is 0.45 and B old is 
0 0.75 so now we are going to update this value also known as update the weights uh, in terms of machine learning all right let's go to the excel spreadsheet 